Hey everyone, welcome to Soil Goddess. In today's video, we are going to see Ice Cube Experiments and Activities Part 2. We have already seen 1, 2, 3 activities in Part 1 and I will give the uh, link in the description box for the Part 1 and now we are going to do Part 2 and today's first activity is, that is fourth activity is Paint Pops, Colorful Paint Pops. For that, you will take a bowl add little bit of white paint in it and mix it with water water and dilute it now take your popsicle tray if you don't have a popsicle tray you can use a, a tumbler and a popsicle sticks like uh, i have just added food colors i'm going to show you how it works on each colors like food color normal acrylic paint and turmeric powder so i have used a food color that is powder form so first three are food colors next is mica and acrylic paint and turmeric powder you can use anything which is available at your home so why we are using this white liquid instead of the normal plain water is we will get a vibrant um, and bright color when we use this white liquid if we are using just normal water it is not going to be that vibrant and it is going to be a little transparent so i don't want my paint to be transparent and that's the reason i i am making my pop sticks i mean the pop paints with uh, these white uh, this white liquid as the base liquid so this is also the normal red and green which i have used earlier so you can see the difference this is green and this is red i am using normal plain water to it so see the difference this is also red which is now a kind of orange and uh, this is also the same green so uh, when we are using this white liquid it will become really vibrant and bright that is how uh, paint should be uh, because when we are painting it should be really bright and spread the vibrance and that's the reason i am using this white liquid as the base our mica powder is not getting mixed up really very well but still we are mix mix mixing up because i think the mica powder will get settled down at the bottom because it's a little heavier than the normal food color powder so close it and freeze it now our pop paints are ready now i am going to add a little tip here you just dip these uh, paint in your in normal water so that uh, the sides get melted and you will get a clean pop paint out so it will not break in the middle so this is a quick tip here so all our paints are ready so let's get started with our paint pops i'll also share you the benefits of this paint pops actually when you are using this paint pops for your children of age one to five this is a very good pre-writing skill because the popsicle stick is really easy to hold and write than a pencil or a marker or even a crayon so they also love to do this painting children's always love to children or always love to paint and this is really fun for them and without knowing they without knowing like they are developing their pre-writing no. skill Please without think. any stress no. and Jumping. also this will improve the fine motor skills and also the pincer grip uh, capability in children so this is a very good uh, pre-writing skill uh, for um, pre-writing activity to develop the pre-writing skill so i will also show you the swatches of the paints because even adults can use this paint um, because it is really crazy we are all running crazy in this lockdown and quarantine period and we can really make something very um, fun filled so this is how a mica looks i am going um that's the reason i am showing you all the swatches now you can examine see how the um we have used like two types of paints here like the one one is the water base and the white base see i am the first one i use the water base which is not that 
thick and um, the bottom ones are uh, the paints made of uh, made using the uh, white base so after a few moments what happened this has become a really messy play now and my little one is having a great time and we are also using our old worksheets to paint so i have already shared this in in my video a months before like how to teach a b c d and one two three four alphabets and numbers in a fun way so i will also leave the description of that activity in the desk uh, i mean i will also leave the link of the uh, activity in the description box you can go and check it out as well and now we are moving to the fifth activity so i'm just i i have a vehicle mold so i'm using this uh, um water and food colors and making um uh vehicle mold ice cubes out of this we are just playing a pretend and play uh like the train is going the railway uh, gate and the everything but if you don't have a vehicle team silicon mold or anything you can just put um food colors in a normal ice cube tray and dig the toy into it like you have to um put a toy which is stand in a standing position and you can play ice skating with it that's fun really and our sixth activity is how to teach letters and phonics and also words for um children if if it is a very small baby you can teach phonics like if it is a preschooler you can stop with the phonics and if they are first grade and second grade children you can go how to teach like words formation of words scramble the words and ask them to form a word if they are like 5 to 8 years old and if they are really okay. little child children they what can learn phonics okay. okay what letter is that yeah o okay and what is this letter e good job e a for a uh, 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 apple it also looks like look like a but it is actually v no he is not v okay he is not a v he is a he is an a okay that's okay cool a, a elephant good job Uh, what uh, 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 uh. here is our seventh activity it's a bonus activity we have already made the diy cloud activity in a part 1 video so i'll leave the link in the description box you can go and check it out and uh, this is uh, like i just tried again with colored water whether we are getting a colorful cloud but we did not so i just want to share that with you all so hope all these uh, activities are useful for you guys if so please subscribe to soil goddess and support soil goddess thanks for watching